Wait, this is how you're going to restore your old computer using this. Now, if you think you're going to go out and get an Apple because your old computer's not working, stop. I just want you to think about this first before you go ahead and do something crazy. Also, if your computer can't run Windows anymore really well, it's super sluggish and moving ridiculously slow, stop! Don't necessarily go out and get a new computer because your computer can't handle Windows like it used to. Now, be honest with yourself. What do you use your computer for mostly? I mean, not in any particular order, but most of us use it for web browsing, social media, shopping, doing some work, some gaming, and content and streaming, uh, mainly see watching TV and movies. Now the cheapest Apple you can get is a Mac Mini for a price of $600 and you can upgrade up to about $1200 or more. Uh, you get dual cores, 1.4 gigahertz up to a 2.8 gigahertz uh, dual core processor. Uh, you start off with about 500 gigabytes uh, hard drive up to 1 terabyte and 4 gigabytes of RAM up to about 8. And honestly for most people, that will do. But no, not this generation. We gotta get something bigger, stronger, more expensive. We need the iMac. For about $1,400, you can get 1.6 gigahertz dual core. Uh, you can go up to about $1,600 or $1,900. You get 8 gigabytes of memory and decent storage and uh, decent graphics. Um, you get a really, really great screen though. If well, that's not good enough for you, go to the 27 inch. After all, it's only $2,300 for this computer. Now coming at a more reasonable price, the Windows 10 computer here comes around $300. Again, not the best components, but it's definitely, you know, for your everyday tasks that I listed above, uh, it should do the, more than do the job. If you want to add some Microsoft productivity suites, the cheapest one is about $150 for the home and student. But of course, for school or work, if you need to use some documents or make some documents, sorry, slides, uh, you can always use uh, free sources. For example, this is just simply one of them, is the Google Docs, um, where you can just make your presentation, slides, um, just Word documents, that type of thing. So thus far, for the everyday computing, the Windows computer does make more sense. On old computers, Windows runs really sluggish and slow, and this is where Linux comes in. Linux comes in varieties of operating systems, all for free, and one of the ones that I'm going to be reviewing or looking at quickly is Ubuntu and Linux Mint. The latest stable Ubuntu platform is the 16.04. You need 2 GB uh, dual core processor. I've used a slightly less and it's worked just fine. 2 GB system memory. It has the Office software suites included in the OS. Requirements will be similar on the Mint version, um, and it's actually both are very easy to install. You can install by from DVD or uh, from USB. On Mint, you can get the 32-bit or 60-bit versions. Uh, you just have to go to whichever one you want, and then you uh, get a system mirror that you download. I chose a Canadian site from uh, University of Waterloo. Some may recognize my VCR computer. This is the VCR computer. I think it was an Optiplex uh, GX280 that I put in this VCR. This is it now with Linux Mint. So I just installed Linux Mint onto this computer. This is the 32-bit version, and wow, is it working great. Work on. There we go. This is the uh, Linux Mint. It's uh, definitely a little different. It is more like a Windows kind of setup where everything is kind of set up where the menu is on the bottom here. Uh, the time, etc., is down here versus up in the top right hand corner, what it's like in uh, Ubuntu. So, we have certain things here, like the you know, you want to work on the networks, the home folder, it's all right there. The office stuff is here, so then you'll go over here and then it's all listed there. Um, I tried the Kodi, it barely works on this machine, but uh, it worked better with Ubuntu 12.04. 
It has more of a Windows kind of feel to it, and again, if you want to close something, the X is in the top right-hand corner versus the top left-hand corner, which is, that's the way it is in Ubuntu. I think I like Ubuntu still a touch better. Here's an old, my old Acer Aspire um, 3050. It has to be, oh my gosh, maybe around close to eight, 10 years, I'm not sure exactly, but again, this is running the LTS version, the 16.04, and we now have a nice functioning laptop again. When before, it was totally, totally, totally unusable. Even when I had the uh, dual core installed in there, it Vista ran horribly. I didn't even bother trying to upgrade to something like Windows 7. It was just way too sluggish. It's no MacBook, um, but it functions adequately. It is slower, absolutely, just because of the components are so much older. Um, but it can be used, um, and it can be used uh, for productivity and entertainment. And you'll see here it's got two gigabytes. Old, old computer. Um, I did upgrade it to a Turian dual core. It had a single core before. There it is. Hello. Sort of see myself. Hello. Um, so there it is. It's going to be playing um, the uh, Game of Thrones. I don't know if people are still using PowerPoint these days, but yeah, for some applications, if you want to use PowerPoint, they have their different templates, etc. Here, and same thing, you can save her as Microsoft PowerPoint uh, format. You can save this as um, different kind of uh, Word documents, like the docx uh, files, doc files. This is a super old eMachines computer that has the old MDG components and pieces in it. Probably the components are all around now that it's 2016. It's They're probably around 10 years old now, most of the components in there. And again, it's running so well. So on Ubuntu 16.04. An E2180. I did put about 4 gigs of RAM in it. We're running Kodi on these things as well. So it does boot up a little slower with everything, but it all works. Does this ever happen to you in Windows? And just because the system is updating does not mean that the system is unusable. So at Ubuntu and Linux, it's great because you can still use the system while it's upgrading or updating. So that's it, don't toss out. Uh, you can repurpose your computer again using a new operating system that's not as hard on the uh, hardware as Windows is. Um, also, you know, going out to buy a really expensive computer um, may not be necessary for the type of things you're using that computer for. So think about that before you go out and I think waste your money. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, check out some of my other videos as you can see here. We have tons of videos um, that you may like.